we will say to rumble. <laughs> Hello? Oh, boy, we actually got someone else here. And welcome to the show, everyone. This is She Said, He Said. And we talk about love, romance, and whatever else we feel like talking about in this show. You can find She Said, He Said on Spreaker, Good Talk Radio. And now we're rock stars on Cutting Edge TV. So I want to welcome everybody to the show. And most of all, I need to get rid of my phone. And the panel, the whole panel's here today, including Flynn. Hi, Flynn. How are you? Hello, how are you? <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. She, I mean, she just popped in. So uh, welcome to the show. Um, we have some really big things to talk about today. Big. We're thinking big. This show, think big, big, big. Uh, also, I need to get my little ticker going. Yeah, and then comment. Yeah, our names up. Our names. Are... Oh, I'm missing our names too. Golly, guys, let me get the names. I like your background tonight, Rob. We ain't got no names. Yeah, um, I decided it looked like I was on it's a dating a game. I like it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm being the host of the dating game. So, uh, <laughs> Bachelor number one. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually two of them here. All righty, so we have a really, really big show today. We're talking big. I think we're talking what? Big Woo! lip, big butt, big uh, wings, <laughs> big uh, chest things, uh, you know, things like that. But you know, we're, we're keeping it above ground. I mean, so we're gonna be we're gonna be good about this. But I do have some of obviously some technical and scientific questions, so you can always count on me. To have that data. So uh, moving right along, Tracy Liu, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. I hope everyone's doing awesome after the Thanksgiving. It was pretty yeah. exciting, I hope. I didn't have to share my turkey this year. Usually you guys do. <laughs> I, I know. Yeah. Next time I need to have you share it again because apparently I need to work on my skills. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I didn't do that good this year. So, and, and we actually have a guy at the bottom of the screen this this week. George, how you doing? Hi, guys. Hello, everybody. Hi. You look like you're ready to go play golf. <laughs> I am. You are. I'm driving a roadster today. I would be driving oh, my roadster. Oh, so you're uh, hitting the roads in your electric uh, golf cart today, or what? <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly right. Just what you said, Rob. Yeah, yeah. And right, right about George, we have Chandra. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. Happy to be here. And she's looking lovely today. I like her lipstick. <laughs> she's got her fancy lipstick and her hair looks sharp. Yeah. Um, she said she finally took a shower. So, wow, we're really <laughs> <That's impressed>. good. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked like Rosanna, Rosanna, Dana when I got I it. I know. It's like, <laughs> how are you doing? And then, of course, in the center and the top there, we How have are you doing? <laughs> Mr. Tom Gulley, how are you? I'm great. I'm getting ready for a big conversation. And um, <laughs> uh, let's get ready to rumble. Yay! I was hoping you play that. <laughs> I like big butts, and I cannot lie. All you other girls must be doing it. I don't really, but it's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, John from my uh, Say What You Will Radio, he's he's on he's on board today. We uh, we all had the spiker drinks today to, in order to handle this show. So we're good to go. Do we have the song queued up? What's that? Do we have the song queued up? No, yeah, we can't do that. Oh. We, have, we, have, we have to be Tom, good boys. Tom was gonna do it, but we get in trouble. <laughs> We would like to uh, well, maybe I can work. I can if, he, if he can find like a little section of it, we probably, he knows what we can get away with. Yeah, I'll twerk. I'll, you give me some music. I'll twerk. <laughs> you got ten seconds. Hey, Flynn's gonna twerk. Ten seconds. Let her twerk. All right, Tom. Start singing, Tom. Come on, Tom. I have some music, but I don't think it's uh, particularly twerkable. <laughs> 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 Time if, for the if, oh, well, hey, hey, hey. if you can twerk, if you can twerk to this, you are good at twerking. Hold on. Is it gonna be on? waiting? She can twerk to anything. <laughs> 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 Why 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's the first on oh this my show. God, that's exactly. <laughs> We're both that's good. Are both my two ten? Oh yeah. That was, oh, yeah, yeah I've seen it a lot. That was awesome. Okay. Oh, you are legend now. Sure. I I'm sure show. every show every show everybody was gonna say, is Flynn gonna twerk on this show? I think it's gonna put her butt in our face. <laughs> so uh before we get going though um uh one of our listeners came up with a great idea who actually is one of our syndicated uh shows on good talk radio and on cutting edge tv uh is uh the, the legendary tom smith and he was suggesting that we have a new year's eve um simulcasting kind of thing here on uh this platform it won't be she said he said it would just be a party and all of our syndications from all of our shows are allowed to come in and out whenever they please during the evening of New Year's Eve. And uh, and uh, we're kind of thinking about. I thought I thought it was a great idea. We should put all of our drinks in a bag, and then let the guests who's watching the show guess what we're drinking. Oh, that's one idea. Yeah. And you, uh, Flynn, you can twerk. Sure. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you uh, so uh, love to hear feedback from the people uh, uh, watching the show. If you think having a New Year's Eve bash uh, on um, New Year's Eve on well, evening, and I got to make sure I, I can cover East Coast and Middle Coast <laughs> and West Coast. So I probably have to start like uh, eight or nine at Pacific time, and people can come in and out as they please. So you don't have to sit there for four hours, but. Um, guests from all the different shows we have. We have a lot of shows. There'll be a lot of guests just popping in and out. And I know a lot of them will love to meet you people. So um, you guys are like celebrities to them. So like they'd love to come in and say hi to you. So, um, but we, you know, we got like Charles Richardson show and uh, all the, uh, 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 Tom, uh, Tom John, uh, well, we got Tom too, <laughs> but uh, uh, John Smith. And we got a bunch of people from, uh, Wow, I can't. I'm kind of blank on shows. Mike Myers. Yeah, there you go. Thank um, you. Other people. Tons. Yeah, they'd be in and out, so they all be invited, and anybody that's a guest could actually pop in and actually come on screen if they want to. So it'd just be for fun, just pure fun. Cool. No real big plan to it, and uh, we'll probably have some gimmick and some games and all that kind of stuff. But um, it's a you know, bring your own bottle. <laughs> Because I'm not coming over. To, I can't supply any any booze. You guys are on your own. B-Y-O-B. <laughs> and yes, so, uh, drinking will be allowed. <laughs> and uh, just a small correction. It was John Smith. John Smith. What did I say? John Smith? <laughs> yeah. Probably. Mike Myers really going to be there? Was Tom being funny? Mike Myers? He yeah. might. No, no, not that Mike Myers. Not our that. Mike Myers. I was say, wow. <laughs> we have a, we have a Mike Myers on uh, uh, Radio Hope Show, you know, a super nice guy, but uh, he's a lot of fun. So we, yeah, we got lots of folks popping in here. So I see Thomas and Wild Bill's here, and say what you will, Radio. Um, <laughs> did I miss anybody? Thomas Hamilton, I got him. And then there's others probably sitting in the background, going, uh -huh. "All right, I'll wait for my time." So today we're talking about some big subjects. And the first one I actually like to talk about wow. is big lips. Big <laughs> lips. So I don't know if I should start with the gals or the guys. Um, I think I'll start with Tom. So, <laughs> um, which, do you like women with big lips? I like voluptuous about? lips. I wouldn't say cartoonishly, freakishly large, but um, voluptuous, plump. Uh, kissably smooth. Uh, I don't mind that. I don't. I don't like the really thin. You know the girls that paint extra lipstick over their <laughs> outside <laughs> to make it give the illusion. I don't like that. But. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. No. I do like the definitely. Uh, okay. You know, I don't mind a college mm -hmm. inject, in, injection here or there. Right. They need it. You know. It's, uh, sorry, guys. Um, we have kind of a little family thing going on here. <laughs> so, um, anyway, uh, got it, got it handled. So, uh, lips, George. What's your what's your impression on lips? You like them big? You like them? Hmm, they have to be. 
They have to be luscious. They don't have to be big as long as they're they're full. They don't have to be super big. I don't want the overload on Botox because uh, <laughs> sometimes they shoot it up too much and then looking like Daffy Duck. So that's probably not uh, it's what one I those, want to kiss. One of, those, one of those people that could stick their head out of a car window and beat themselves to death. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> bitty, 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 bitty. No, that's not uh, not what I want. But I do like a nice set of uh, luscious lips in order to kind of, you know, nicely give a peck to and just, uh, yeah. Well, here's a phenomenon I have for the guys. Why is it a lot of our older celebrities like Cher, uh, Goldie Hawn, all of them, why is it they're definitely showing that they're aging a little bit, but their lips are gigantic? <laughs> Every one of them. Botox. <laughs> Actually, it's Botox. called Juvederm. It's not Botox. <laughs> yeah. It's Restylane or Juvederm. Same thing. Okay. No. It it's pumps not. them up. It pumps them up. You know, you Botox got like a little side anything. thing. You get an air <laughs> pump and you just go. Wild Bill does not care for the duck lips. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with Wild uh, Bill. Uh, I don't uh, care for duck lips either. <laughs> they need to be uh, kissable. Hey, no duck lips. If your lips are so big that you're actually got a uh, floating, um, uh, you know, floating device when you're swimming, uh, they're a little too big. <laughs> All right, girls, what's your opinion on big lips? You want big, big lips? Ooh, Flint, tell us more. I do like nice big lips. <laughs> the really big, big lips. I mean, not to be gigantic, but as long as they're soft. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, when you kiss a guy with nice, be beautiful lips, it's it's a it's it's nice. For who? <laughs> <laughs> I think for both of us. <laughs> Just checking. I can care. <laughs> Tracy, what do you feel like about big lips, little lips, medium lips, or just I, go with it? I, I, I okay. So if a guy's gonna yeah, have facial guy. hair. They need to have more lips. Like you, like if I'm gonna kiss you and I can't find your lips under your stash, like <laughs> we got a problem. I'm like, it doesn't. I, they don't need to be large, but they they do need to be present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the only way you could tell is when they talk, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then you can see the see the whole Mick right Jagger there. lips. As, yeah. uh, Mm -hmm. Well, Bill says. No. Mm -hmm. How about you, Chandra? What do you What do you think? Uh, normal size, not pencil thin. Big lips aren't an issue. Uh, definitely, how you hold your mouth is more important to me than the size of your lips. Yep. If you got it all pinched up all of the time, and it looks like it's just cranky. <laughs> Like a butthole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you. I'm just trying to be tactful. Um, but why would I start now? Why, why would you start now? Why do you want to be tactful? <laughs> but yeah, if it's how you hold your mouth, I think that's more attractive than the size of your lips. Hmm. Interesting. You know. so Put a slight get, smile on that saying, face. I could, I could fake my lips then. Yeah, just kind of no. <laughs> Put a smile on there. Pruning them up doesn't help. No, <laughs> That's not working either. It's not working. <laughs> no. Looks like a push well, broom. You realize what a professional I am. Well, of course, I have always got the scientific information about lips. Oh, here. And I happen to know the 17 things that all girls with big lips will understand. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And you, go through lip balm, you go through yeah. lip balm and, and gloss way faster than other people with smaller lips. Yes. How would you know? <laughs> well, I'm sure of it. They haven't always been this small. <laughs> um, you feel an anxiety about kissing someone with small lips. Hmm. No, it's just no. I don't, I don't know. It just kind of depends on, on the well. If they're really, really small lips, you just kind of got to dig a little deeper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> depends on how much you like the person. Yeah, 
That's true. So little little lips versus big lips. Is that is that a, a real problem? So it's probably because you had a horrible kiss experience that involved accidentally eating someone's face. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That sounds like a technique issue. I mean, sometimes you got to just put your whole mouth over her because she can't, uh, she got such little lips. <laughs> oh, okay. What can you do? So like, is, uh, we, we're being uh, serious uh, here and professional, right? <laughs> yes. Really? <laughs> you, you reveal in the fact that you'll never have to overline your lips with, with the yeah. with makeup. <laughs> No, Which, not who, who, was, who was saying earlier that the people try to make their lips go bigger? Uh, let's see. What's trilling? What's trilling? This is no. T R I L L I N G. Trilling your lips is actually kind of hard. No. Trilling? What Just does that mean? Person Ooh. from New York trying to say thrilling. It's hey, called rigor mortis. It was a trilling night, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Rig of morning. It is T R I L L I N G. Trilling. I'm going to Google it. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I am. Yeah. Oh, God, we got a mystery here. What's trilling your lips? Oh, okay. Does anybody on the panel, this got, on anybody in the chat, know what yep. trilling is? Trilling your Lynn's lips. looking for it. I'm going to look for it. It's this. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> Take it easy, Flynn. She's flying. I like that, Flynn. Flynn's flying. This is, this is, uh, <laughs> flying Flynn. This oh says gosh. a a lip yeah. trill is a fun and effective <laughs> vocal exercise. I just did it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But you have to hold your mouth. Oh, it says. Oh, and they say it's actually kind of hard for people with big lips. Oh well, okay. Wow. <laughs> trill. Yeah. I think everybody should do it at the same time. Okay. Right, here we go. I knew a girl whose foot was so tight you could aim her like, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I hope they didn't have a lot to say. <laughs> you you, you two are probably going crazy. Let's see. Uh... By the way, do we think cam camel toe is hot, guys? What's that? Is camel toe hot to, to, to this guy's point? Camel toe? Do you guys think that's hot? It's it it's extremely the, noticeable sometimes, and you just can't stop uh, to look on at the, it. The rest yeah. of the girl, exactly. Yeah. Sounds like yes. you guys like it. It's like if it's on Shamu. I don't got no, a problem with it. I tell you right oh now. Oh my god! I don't have it's, you guys. it's on some <laughs> wow. giant. It's on giant ogre girl. No, I didn't say but, I was gonna date a girl that had a. <laughs> I mean, like a triangle. Or, yeah. <laughs> No. Trill. Well, it's I can attest that George does because I know his ex. <laughs> That's true. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very true. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. You know, it's hard knowing somebody like uh, that's gone way back with you because uh, she knows too much about you. <laughs> They also Not say good. that people with large lips, uh, winter is their nemesis because of having oh, a lot of surface. That means that they are more likely to have chapped lips all the time because of the wind. Yeah. Oh, so man, I carry my bird bees everywhere, man. I'm never going to have chapped lips. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. Bird bees, bird bees, baby. So if you have large lips... And one of the drawbacks is that if you go to the dentist and <laughs> numb your mouth, it feels like you're carrying 10 pound weight on your face. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then they ask you questions. How's that feel? <laughs> <laughs> they also say that actually applying lipstick takes so long. It's not a quick process. I yeah. Depends on your technique. No, I, I like watching women Sean put on knows. lipstick. She it's kind of sexy. It, it does now, take longer to put on lipstick. Have you guys um, heard? Color. Have you guys heard the the way you're supposed to figure out the perfect nude color for your lipstick? No, tell us. No. I know. All right, Chandra, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> the color of your nipples is oh, the color that your nude yep. lipstick should be. What? 
You're supposed yeah. to use your nipple color for yeah. your 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 perfect nude color. That's right. The color of your areolas. Yep. yep. Areolas. <laughs> Should we show? Areola. <laughs> I am out? a professional makeup artist, and yes, that is exactly what they tell me. Yep. And you know yeah. what? It actually is pretty a good technique for finding the right color for you. Right. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Just don't do it in the store. It's a little weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you take a picture of, of your of your nipple and then go to the store and try to match it. Uh, Hopefully, you know your own nipple well enough yeah. that you don't have to do that. I have no idea like, the color of my nipple. I mean, I, I, I yeah, yeah, lift it up. You know, making just, this all this matches. This is really <laughs> See, she, she knew. Like, I didn't make this up. I'm telling you. Yeah. I watched the whole show, and they they experimented with it, and they matched it, and like, yeah, okay, it, it really worked. All right. So I gotta wow. look for a, a chapstick that matches my nipple. That's it. There you go. I just want you to know that I did not match mine today. <laughs> You're not going for the nude look today. You're going for the holiday look. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> this was not a match. Number one. <laughs> Hey, you can't say you can't. We didn't learn something on this show today. We learned something. I want to. Wow, see, that was edu educational. I want to see that show that Tracy saw. And number two, this topic just got <laughs> interesting. Yes, it did. <laughs> I'll send you the link later. It did. <laughs> um, it was quite, Rob, quite educational. <laughs> can I can I parlay into something into with their nipples? With sure. breasts, or do you want to stick with the lips? Go, go for it. I'm trying to. I'm kind of. These aren't all funny. I'm just kind of. Okay, perfect. Check. I'm reading. So, a fr uh, my, my cohort from my talk show, he, he, I was, he was talking about this this comedian, and I said I liked her better when she had B cup. She had A cup. She had little A cup breasts. They were natural. They were so sweet. And then she got a big D cup, and I said I like her less now. And he's, I said, what do you, what do you think? And he goes, all, he said it was all about the nipple. Uh, is that true some guys really 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 like nipples i know a guy that that's the, the whole thing for him and uh i don't necessarily follow that yeah but, you know I, and i would not have objected to her going to a d cup at all a natural a uh-huh <laughs> natural a not an unnatural A usually. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I mean, I, just, just like break, I mean, my elbow is True. bigger than an A. Touche. Touche. I about. think I'm an A cup. Okay. I'm definitely A cup. Touche. I think I, I, think I get to be after an A cup. You're right. Unless you have really huge ones, but you'd probably you go for a B. Right? No. Okay. What if All you right. have a Fine. nipple that so, because you're so big it turned purple because it's got a high? Hold that humongous weight. Would that match your lips? <laughs> it would be your perfect nude color. Doesn't sound like good science. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You're gonna have to test it out. <laughs> George, Look at Wild Bill. George, are you a nipple guy? What's that? What that? George, are you a nipple guy? I do like nipples because that is <laughs> a very a, a huge erogenous zone, and I I um. Uh, for you or I'm her? Definitely a you know, guy. To be sucked too. I don't mind. I'm not. I I'm, I'm in just about anything. I'm, I had a feeling. I'm definitely a, did you have a feeling? I did have a feeling. I did. <laughs> uh, that's great. I, I think I'm speechless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey man, why not enjoy it? You Some know? men like their it's... nipples to be touched. They do. Oh man, they, they, they need proper attention. attention. Yep. Yes, they do. Definitely. For guys or girls? So I'm good. Do guys like their nipples played with? I mean, I what? got a little bit of carpet here, so you can play on the carpet. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. All righty. <laughs> I don't mind playing on the carpet. Hey, letting the girl play on the carpet. I figure we're, we're here, guys. Let's take this for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> what else don't we know about nipples, girls? Pardon? Okay. What about them being pierced? Is that just Ooh, weird? That that's gotta hurt. Yeah, I don't like them either. On guys or girls? Because if girls, e e either them. one, either one. The girl has pierced nipples. Or what? If, if she has <laughs> pierced nipples and she likes them, I'm all in favor. I'm pro <laughs> choice. I think like Tom is pretty much down for the big boobs with the nip with the with the piercing. It's not my decision. It's her body. So if, if you know, I'm pro choice. If she wants them, great. If she doesn't, I don't care. 
<laughs> Sounds like we'll talk. We say, we'll say with you on radio, like big, like big, like D's. Oh, yeah, John. <laughs> I, would, I would say he's. I like that. That's funny. He's on to something there. I had a girl one time tell me. That's Guys are way too into my nipples, you know, uh, fondle them briefly, do me, and go home. <laughs> That's her exact words. She didn't want to be snuggled after? <laughs> Apparently not. Oh. No snuggling? I like snuggling. Oh, you got to snuggle, man. I like to snuggle. Right. Oh, we're yeah. here. We're not here every again. time. Oh. Nope. Does no, everybody I'm, here like to snuggle after sex? It depends snuggle. on if it's a quickie. No, if it's a no, quickie, I'm not no. saying I'm just, not. I mean, it is what yeah. it is, you know. George but, likes the quickie too. But I will snuggle. You're, Sometimes you're a quickie, you just right? have to get in there, get the job done, and get going. I mean, okay, so, no, snuggle. No, there's exceptions. There's exceptions now. Okay, there is. <laughs> Let me educate you guys because sometimes you don't all know. Like, I know you're always going for distance, <laughs> but sometimes if you get the job done, get her to her that zone, you can go and call it a date. Like, it doesn't have to be a marathon every single time, especially if you're in a long term relationship. We got stuff to do, and it's okay. <laughs> You know, um, it, it depends on the relationship. But the thing about the snuggling is that in, ensures. Yep, round. I that got is, you there. I'm totally it. with that. But when on. That ensures <laughs> round two. If you snuggle and then you fall asleep, well, then you just, you're just going to wake up next to him. And then there oh, you I'm go. Okay I'm okay. There's got to be a snuggle session, though, if you're going to do. Yeah. Round yeah, two. Same, definitely. You can tell the difference of who has kids in other interferences <laughs> versus other. <laughs> like sometimes <laughs> you're just like. You get in there you, like a teenager, get the job done, and then move on because you just have to. <laughs> My parents True. had six kids, and I'm pretty sure there was a lot of round twos to get that. <laughs> <laughs> or double round ones. <laughs> yeah. <something>. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the 68 position. Say what you will, radio. <laughs> Diana goes, you asked for it. Here that's, it comes. That's for New Year's Eve. <laughs> okay. Here it comes. Here comes the answer to that. Oh, Wild Bill says he likes to snuggle even if sex isn't a part of it. Yay! Hey, hey, are you kidding? <laughs> you don't really like that behavior. Are we He's sure poor. Wild Bill's real? Or is he like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he's real. Oh, he's real. Hey, he's, he's real. real. He's real. I just think his partner's well, reading his text. we got diverted here, but we're still on the subject of big boobs now. Okay. Oh, okay. Big boobs. Big boobs. And uh, of course, I've got the facts. But okay. <laughs> seriously, uh, we'll start with the girls this time. Do you really want big boobs, Flynn? I love my B cups. They're perky and they've done me very well. However, comma, had God gifted me with C's, I would have taken them. <laughs> <laughs> What if what if those uh, B's or C's uh, start kind of um, aging and kind of going with gravity? Would you consider going back to a C up? <laughs> Not cup, but up. Oh well, I, luckily I don't have to We're yet. Perking. I'm lucky I have to yet. But my girlfriend, she had two kids, and they dropped down, and then she took some fat from her stomach and put it in her in her breast and lifted them, and they're just yummy. Wow, she do it herself? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, point of parliamentary procedure. Wow. You know, I know you're asking the girls here. But there, there's also, uh, you know, I'm bigger is always better. But uh, the shape, the niceness of the boobs yeah. goes a long way. You know, if, if they're, they're uh, not... Just there's some are nicer than others, better formed okay. and stuff than others. So that has something to do with it too. You know, it's not just just yeah, sure. now. Now, yeah. uh, speaking in age terms and stuff is, you know, some of that stuff isn't always um, possible at an older age. Can you can us guys get past that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not a problem. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> eventually eventually well yes. you know gravity does its thing george 
Oh, it doesn't think. I know. I know. Think I could, all could, all so, I mean, that they, I, I, they, those things can drag. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. Yep. I've seen them all pretty much. This is pissing me off. This more than a mouthful of is is a waste thing. I I could meet the guy who came up with that. I would bitch slap him across the room. <laughs> that is so wrong. Right. Not even actually, it was, was, it was a girl. The girl not. actually said it, hoping to feel better about what she had, Probably. and then she passed it along. You know, or a guy kind of like a that a guy. I got Probably my is that. the one who said size doesn't matter. Yeah. And I'd like to smack the crap out of him. There you go. <laughs> yeah, no, size does matter. Tom, you yeah. can get lockjaw, dude. Sometimes. <laughs> Lockjaw's not it's, good. It's worth it, but that that's not the only thing they're used for. Uh, and sometimes a mouthful ain't enough. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a big mouth, as you all know. <laughs> and uh, as far as the uh, other size thing, the people ask that question all the time, and it's like, yeah, God made me 6'5 everywhere but one place. What are you, stupid? <laughs> are you saying you've got a big one, Tom? I'm saying a good craftsman oh, never blames his tools is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Are you are you saying your are you saying your girth is as thick as that that can you're holding? <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> we, if we can get some visual aids on the boob thing, maybe we can work on it. And it's not, not as blue or as red either. There you go. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> okay, so so George, show us what you think ten inches looks like. Wow, oh. what I think ten inches is. Yeah, let's, oh let's my god! Let's see how you are. Uh, Did you want to see ten inches? That was yeah. ten yeah. inches. It's about right about there. there okay, so now <laughs> show us five inches. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Okay, that's five. No, inches you're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's take this any further. What's three inches look like, George? <laughs> three inches, is probably the yeah, right about there. <laughs> three inches looks like a lot of evenings alone. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, there's something you can do about that, gentlemen. Uh oh. <laughs> I did know a fellow that did get an augmentation and it was quite successful. Absolutely. Look at, look at. Oh. <laughs> well, there's, there's also a That's thing. Why you can, 12 inches long. Nothing. There's also a thing you can do and, and you can have the top part of uh, detached from your pelvis, the ligaments and stuff, and it gives you extra length as well. Super. Huh? Yeah. No yeah. way. We tell us more. Are you no, serious? That's, that's just it. That's just it. There's there's a connection no, issue, know. and at the top, uh, the top meaning, you know, yes, before you <laughs> the torso, it. and uh, the the upper part there, you can have it detached, and it will give you an extra length. How much? It depends <laughs> on the size of the guy to begin with, you know. So, okay, wow. Birthday. And I just thought if most guys yeah. lost like 20 pounds, I mean, so you'd already get an extra inch. So, like, a guy man. can actually add length to his penis? Yeah. Well, you just, it's not added. It's just, it's detached. So, it's not as, you know, connected. So How do you know about this? I read a lot. <laughs> yeah, Tom. <laughs> yeah, Tom. How do you know about this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why haven't you shared it with us? Well, if, if you really must know, uh, you know what? I'm totally fine with my. I'm, I'm totally fine with my junk. The, the, if you really must Tom know, has a friend. A friend of mine. <laughs> a friend of his. There, there's a. You can ask. There. You can add, tell Shauna. Shauna knows. This did, she knows this my did, ex. This didn't <laughs> happen to me, but a buddy of mine. Uh, there was a young lady on top of him, and she actually broke his. Penis. You can break, yeah, you can have that happen. And he started yelling and cursing, and she thought it was the passion of the moment. And it's like, no. <laughs> and um, so he had that done afterward. 
He had he he, he elongated it. Yeah, he had it detached. She did him a favor. Huh? She did him a favor. I don't think so. It says she just did break, him. You can break that puppy. <laughs> yeah, you can break it. You can break it. Oh, so you really, can bend it too. Oh, so be maybe, damn, maybe boy, you can go, definitely bend it. I mean, we're supposed to be staying with the large chest situation. But yeah, we can't stay I with do, that long. Enough. I do have some penis facts for us. <laughs> oh Lord, I yeah. like big breasts. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I. like, like to know him with a girl. This is fat, <laughs> fast facts on average penis size. Okay. So this is facts. This is this is facts. <laughs> While 85% of women may be satisfied with the size and proportion of their partner's penis, men are uh, less sure about themselves. So uh, it's more, more of this is uh, our, our, our guiltness thinking that we have to be bigger. <laughs> good. You should. Women nah, I'm totally happy. happy with my junk. Yeah. <laughs> George my is happy good with to go. junk. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy with my junk. As much as 45% of men <laughs> believe they have a small penis. Aww. Aww. It's sad. Isn't that a relative term, though? A small, yeah. like, there. You know, yeah. It, see, maybe guys need to start wearing, like, something I mean, like if a you guys bra are, like, so they know what category it, they're Oh, look, it's so wow. cute. Yeah. <laughs> Like all women know where that. Yeah. Like, what are we asking for our size? And then we also on display. I think they could do. Well, in one. What, what, Good idea, Tracy. Yeah. There's only what one condom size? size, you know, and then they they make those magnums, which is just they've proven it's a it's a marketing tech, you know. It's like, I oh, yeah. the magnums. It's to make you feel better. Magnums. <laughs> right, right, look large. Here's more scientific you facts for you guys. Most uh, the average length in studies of uh, you know your stuff is actually. Seven to ten centimeters, which is two point eight to three point nine inches. What you mean, that, like the wow, girth? poor guys, the girth. That's the that's average people. Wait, the length of the girth. That's average. I'm getting on the girth. Size. I'm working that's on girth next. Wait, 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 hold up. You're saying the average length wow. is three and a half inches. Three and a half to three point nine. Oh, that doesn't. Maybe they mean oh, no, no, flaccid. Two, two point yeah, eight. That's got to be. That's got to be flaccid. Be flaccid. Yeah, that it is. It is flaccid. Oh, oh okay. Well, you well, should have right. yeah. Sorry, I mean, it's of course, Lynn's gonna have a heart attack. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I've been doing. I've been hitting the lottery over here. If that's the case, <laughs> that's, that's that's a stupid, it's, it's a stupid measurement because it's like uh, measuring a tire when it's flat. It cannot be used when it's flaccid. Yeah, I do have some facts. Very good point, sometimes Tom. that's not relative. Yeah. Um. So full length. Average is 4.7 to 6.3 inches. I think average is five inches. I'm gonna say, I, I, and this isn't fact, this is just gut. Now, girth here comes your girth. Oh, yeah, 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 girth. Uh, average <laughs> is 12 Where's centimeters or 4.7 inches. What wait, circumference? Oh, that's oh, circumference, not girth. That's, that's round. Like, <laughs> oh, shit. I was like. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds like a, four inches sounds that's like a weird way to measure it. <laughs> it's it's, it's not the so, diameter. That. That's, yeah, that's I don't have that measurement here. Circular. That's a pi r square. Are there, are there circular measures? Like the ones, uh, yeah. We're really getting scientific. I, I think if you look at the, 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 the can that Tom was holding, and that's that looks pretty yeah. good to me. That looks about right. Yeah, we need to get back to um, boobs. That's girth. Okay. Oh my gosh. That girth, is, that girth looks spot on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Maybe a so, little bit large, but in the right so direction. We, we need to we need to feel hard pressed for these ladies with very large boobs. And uh so there is 22 struggles only folks with big boobs would understand. And what do we call big boobs before we go too far? Fair. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and on, um, on which scale, jokes. Victoria's Secret scale or every other scale? <laughs> There's two different versions there. Wow, well, I think some of these um, 22 uh, items here might kind of identify them. Okay. Number one, which is probably not just unique to big boobs, is boob sweat. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, you're talking about people geezing over because I, I really don't think those of us who are in the double D category have to worry. So I live in Phoenix. Are you double D yes. Child? Yeah, I'm a 36 double D. Well, let's show us. Almost. We don't like. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Those, those are not given. Take your camera. Oh, we got boobs in our face and twerking tonight. We're on a what? roll. Chandra, show us your breasts, not your ceiling. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Take your computer. Really? Really close. I can't. Been there, done that. It doesn't move. Then you Amazing. stand up. She's not on a laptop today. There no. we go. That Tom. <laughs> Holy moly. No I've way. hugged her. There's no I've hugged there. her. They're definitely that big. Wow. Yeah. wow. My, my cleavage is real. Wow. Yeah, I, I had a girlfriend in Dallas that we were driving place. I did. I admit it. I know. <laughs> Sandra, go get a phone book. When <laughs> they don't have phone books anymore. When when uh, something. I, had, I had a girlfriend in Dallas that when we were driving places, I had to keep like tons of extra napkins in our car because she would put them underneath. Otherwise, she would get these big sweat lines on her really shirts that were normal probably too tight which oh. i wasn't gonna say no so, no no like so i live in plan, I, got a I get about that it. like you'll get the I'm line i'm gonna see Chandra's yeah. boobs more more boobs less less ceiling come on chandra <laughs> <laughs> you think i'm kidding i like big breasts and i ain't gonna lie oh. <laughs> <laughs> come on. You, I, you can't tease me you can't tease me <laughs> good thing you, you dressed yourself up good today <laughs> if i know that i would have worn something that had cleavage in it too <laughs> Like show us more than the ceiling. Do you want to see that or do you want to see that? I especially have to see that. <laughs> Chandra, I mean, come on. I'll behave, I'll behave. But I do like I I, I do like I'm I, like, I can attest to it. I've been there. I know exactly how big her boobs are because I've hugged her again. a lot. I'm 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 just glad Flynn and I finally found something in common. <laughs> We like your height and we like basketball. Yeah. There you go, like, Flynn. I'm like natural. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So I gotta ask Flynn, have you ever heard of Swamp Ass? Oh yes. Oh Tracy, you've got to tell her what that is. Oh yeah. Yeah. The sweaty butt crack on a leather seat. Educator. I'm like, I'm like, you have black leather seats in Phoenix. You're gonna get swamp ass. I'm sorry, it just happened. Yeah. And now with the, the uh corona, now you get it. Like a uh, swamp face. <laughs> yeah. Rob, and then there's swass. There's what? Yes. Like you swass? Just, oh, yeah. The whole like desert swass. swass thing. Oh, yeah. Swass. What is that? Sweaty oh. ass. And it just, the oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But swamp ass. Same thing. Swamp <laughs> ass. Swamp ass. Well, I thought she, right? when we moved to Phoenix and Tracy says, you got to look out mom for a uh, swamp ass. Swamp ass. Uh, you don't want to be walking to a store with swamp ass. And, oh, no, <laughs> it's a true thing. It's real. When you get a hundred and ten car. What? You get a beer? No, I'm being a, um, a mom and drinking Why? wine out of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do dishes later. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> Wild Bill. <laughs> so Chandra, I think you blew up his screen. <laughs> he's a little tease. I don't know why she's not keeping it up. Uh, he's saying uh, Stephanie uh, is watching. Oh, hello, Steph. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I got you. I thought she was referring to uh, Chandra's uh, stuff. Yeah. I, oh, no. I, uh... <laughs> that was a compliment, by the way. Yes. All right, twenty-two struggles for women with big boobs. Okay. Strapless, strapless bras are a joke. This yeah. is true, but yeah, I think no, it would no, be no. for anybody. Yeah, I was gonna say I've had small and big, and I'm telling you, there's a problem both ways. <laughs> like, yeah, it, I've experienced just, both. So. Yeah, they're not they're not designed well. They don't work. It's just mm -hmm. it's a bad yeah. idea. Yeah, I don't care what size you are. Tracy, now we got Chandra. We now we have a true understanding what? of Chandra. Uh, I can refer these questions a little bit more to her. <laughs> <laughs> just your so bra, you know, I was your, an A for your years. Your bra colors come in nude or are black. you real or natural? Unnatural. Okay, oh, you talking to me? What are you? Oh, I had mine done. Twice. What were you for? 
Huh? I was originally like A almost B. And then uh, I went up to a C and then I went up to a D. So and I've the actually had it done twice. What's the okay. best, A, C, or D? Um, I would say what's C is like good for all sorts of scenarios, but I I like the look of big fake boobs, so I got myself a set. <laughs> so, and Tracy, aren't you kind of tall? God bless you. Uh, yes, I am yeah. tall. I'm I'm almost five eleven, and I also got the ones that go out more instead of wide, which you can get. That you could get real detailed on how you want them yeah. to look. So See, your body gets to carry that and look good yes. in a cup because you're so tall and everything. Yeah. Yep. For me, because I'm so short, I literally look like God put my boobs on my freaking hips. <laughs> and if I gain any weight, you're like, oh God, she's just all round. Yep. And it's just, it's just gross, you know? So it's like you have to work harder to not gain extra weight no. and i have a huge rib cage it's yeah, like what? it's unfair how it's tall like are you? five foot three yeah if you're under five five and have double d that is known as a little miracle <laughs> yeah <laughs> well you know what my daughter my, so little. my oldest oh my daughter God. she is five foot not even five foot one and hers is natural, and she is a 32 triple G. What? Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah, it's really it's really kind of sad because if she wears clothing that looks... Um, it's rough. Inappropriate. People treat her really poorly based on the fact that she's all boobs. I mean, unfortunately. And she's just a beautiful girl. But people... Pay attention to her boobs before they pay attention to her. And it's really, really sad. And in my family, I'm flat. I am. I am literally <laughs> the flat girl in our family. So just so to give say, you all ideas. <laughs> so they say dresses fit perfectly except for your boobs. Correct. Okay. And button down shirts are horrible. They're my favorite shirts to wear. But if I get them to fit my boobs, <laughs> they that moment. Say, there's shoulders are over here and the, the buttons to here. It's horrible. It's just, it's awful. So I have to have them tailored usually. They yeah. also say uh, people literally do not believe your bra size. Pardon me, Tom? Well, I was just going to say that's um, FLBP. It's known as future lower back Rob. problems. Uh, actually, I'm going to say that I feel very, very blessed because I started lifting weights when I was in the seventh grade because I was so flat that I built up a lot of muscle in my upper chest and in my whole entire body. So I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to have to worry about sagging the same. My back is in good shape. I feel pretty, pretty good about this. <laughs> you almost have to wear one of those weight belts. <laughs> no, but sometimes I do wish that I could get back support <laughs> in the middle of my back <laughs> yeah. have, have you like been told have you been told you, have you been told that your breasts is, are um distracting uh yeah <laughs> actually Professionally not, or just in fun no i have been told that they are a distraction i actually have a kind of odd joke but um or story <laughs> <laughs> when I was young, because I was so, so skinny and I was so flat chested that until after I had my daughter, I didn't really develop. I was really underweight. And I had met a guy and I'd known him before when, before I'd had a child. And one time he saw me walking across in a parking lot and at about 107 pounds and all boobs. He said that he literally followed me because of my boobs and wanted to ask me out. And I was like, oh, my God. And he's like, until you talked. And then I realized, oh, my God, that's Chandra. I know her really? from when she was a little girl. <laughs> yep. So they've, they're a distraction sometimes. But nobody ever bitches. <laughs> uh, no, actually, um, uh, Diana here, uh, she mentioned something that could be a problem, back problems. Do you have back aches a lot? Um, in my middle back a little bit. Yeah. But again, like I said, I have a lot of muscle mass, so I'm good to go. So <laughs> I like this. Any long necklaces get swallowed up. Oh yeah. Don't, 
we don't wear long necklaces. They look gross. They just, they just look bad. And if you wear them on a regular shirt, they just, they kind of like fly up. It's just, it's not a good one. <laughs> so small and dainty is better. <laughs> yeah, daughter, that. That's great. great. Oh, is she tiny? Bikinis are, um, a pair, the pair that goes with bikinis are laughable. Yeah. The top and bottom no. don't, yeah. don't work. Uh, nope. No. Bikinis are a bad what's, idea. What's, what's a flowy? I don't know. If any flowy makes you look pregnant. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. They mean flowy tops. Because, again, yeah. if you start out big and you even if you go um, down, you just look huge all the time unless your shirts are tailored. So. Uh, rent, is running painful? Um, no, not really. You just wear a good sports bra. So, but you I mean, running to, painful you have to take them like out. <laughs> so, if it's painful, is it painful on the chest or painful on the back or painful on your chin <laughs> when it hits you? <laughs> the chest. <laughs> but they're not that big. My God. <laughs> <laughs> they, they also mentioned that they're crumb magnets. <laughs> Yes. Popcorn. If, popcorn, yes. popcorn. Popcorn pockets. <laughs> yeah. Gonna spill something, it's gonna land right there. It's awful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Food, a, food savers. A bright side, they're they're built in tables. Not, not mine. No, you have to be a lot bigger for that than I yeah. am. So. But that's not me. Tracy, can you give us a little a little show like like Chandra did? I don't know. I'm wearing black. It doesn't work so well. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Wow. Yeah. I am kidding. So plan is here to ask the questions rather than. But no, going back to the flowy, I will say that I did really like wearing those tops that kind of like are right under the the chest where it's they called. start to flow out. I really liked those when I was smaller. <laughs> now that I'm bigger, like it doesn't it doesn't work as well. They don't look as nice. So if you're like a, a B or smaller, like those are like the perfect cut for that. And like yeah. they make them look oh, the really nice. Empire waistlines were not meant for big girls. They're meant for flim yeah. size, and they look very yeah. pretty. Not yes. Us. So does turtlenecks give you a, a unibu uniburb boobs? <laughs> uniburbs. Uh, I think anything. Have another drink, Rob. Have another yeah. drink. I think uh, sports bras could do that too if you get the yeah. wrong cut. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, Morty. Appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, bless you, we can get here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, I have some special questions for you today. Okay. I'm done picking on the boobs. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I'll never be done picking on the boobs. I was like, Tom looks disappointed. <laughs> or playing with the boobs. I'm not sure what to. Yeah. All right. So, panel, I have some questions for you. Are you a morning or a night person? Night. Okay, one night person, Tracy. Uh, five days a week, it's night. The other two, it's morning. <laughs> oh. I'm a little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> George, are you a night person or a morning person? Night. Night, me too. Chandra, what are you? I'm a night and... The person I'm with is a morning. <laughs> yeah, actually, we have the same scenario over here. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. Yep. So lunch same is here. good. Lunch yep. is really good. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom, are you a morning person? I'm an insomniac. No, I'm an insomniac, so I don't really have a good answer. I had a feeling. <laughs> you are an insomniac. You are. He's a busy you're, man. You're he's on there. Things, yeah. He's, he's always busy. busy. I get about four hours, maybe five uh, sleep per. And then on the weekends sometimes, or if I'm on vacation, I just stay up for two or three or four days. So wow. Not well, a I have other questions here, but I'm going to jump down. The, jump down kind of kind of goes with this a little bit. I'll start with Flynn on this one. Flynn, how do you relax? What I was doing before I got on this call. Did it require I batteries? <laughs> A big hot bath, yeah. Treat my wife loves that. We got I'm one of those. We got one of those stand up bathtubs here because because uh, Sherry's folks had one of them put in there, 
So we got one of those gigantic ones. She loves it. <laughs> oh, I love baths. Can relate. How about you, Tracy? What's your way to relax? Actually, it's actually the same as Flynn. I remodeled my entire master bathroom just to have a sanctuary away from all the boys and stuff. And I got my, I have a six foot tub and I made sure that I could get in there, fill it up and have all the girls covered so I could really soak in. I'm like, I love it. Like I had the That's whole thing designed pattern. and I got the chandelier and all my candles. Like, yeah, I made myself a sanctuary. <laughs> so like, nice. Mm -hmm. Chandra, how do you relax? Oddly enough, I do hand stitching, embroider, huh. applique, I cook, and I like to garden. And all those garden. things are relaxing to me. I like to read too. Yeah. George, how do you relax? I read a book and I have a cup of green tea. Ah, <laughs> with a hat on or not? You, you know, with a hat on, of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, I Actually, solve, reading relaxes me. We got we got to solve this mystery. How does Tom Goley relax? I don't I think do, he does. I do. I want to hear this, Tom. I really need to know this. How do you relax? I do transcendental meditation. Really? Oh, seriously? Wow. Yeah, seriously, I do. I've been doing that since I was probably in high school or college. What, what so kind do of I. Caused, what caused you to go that direction? Was it something that kind of, somebody ran into that taught it, taught it to you? I uh, It was because of the insomnia, but um, I read a book on it, and I I thought it would oh be God. cool to try it. And uh, so I started doing it, and that's really the only thing that does relax me that's legal in Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, just moved to one of our states. You can have really yeah. relax. Yeah, I get relaxed all the time. But yeah, no, transcendental meditation is really cool. It's, uh, I, I didn't think it would work, but I gave it a try for a couple of weeks. And then, you know, you can start to have sort of out of body experiences and stuff if you do it correctly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Cool. My mom used to have us meditate. And after we came home from school, just to defrag our energy so she wouldn't have to put up with us. So I started transcendental meditation when I was six. Yeah. So, wow. Yep. Yeah, every day I meditate. It's very refreshing when you, if you can be really wow. tired when you start doing it and when you're done, you, you, you are like energized. So it's, that's how yeah. I do it. All right, guys, we have about a minute and a half left. I got a lightning question for you. I'll start with Tom. What are one of your greatest strengths? I would say um, a discipline. I'm a very regimented, disciplined person. And when I like to go for a goal or do something, I'm very disciplined at it. I do it to its utmost. Hey, George, what's your greatest strength? I have a very bubbly personality. <laughs> that you do. <laughs> you definitely make our show bubbly. Bubbly. Effervescent. Yes, yeah, that's, that's your greatest strength. I like that. I think well, I'm pretty minute. loving. Come on. <laughs> loving. Loving. I, 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 I can see that. Chandra, what's your greatest strength? Accepting. Yeah, mm. Definitely. Yeah, that's. I can see that's something strong. In, you strong one. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy, what's, what's your greatest strength besides curly hair? Oh, so strong with that one. I feel like it's... Um, uh, people feel comfortable disclosing very private things or like, I don't know, I, like people like to talk to me and share things. I just, I don't know why, like. I, <laughs> Whether you want to hear it or not. <laughs> yeah, I am just like a, a naturally accepting of people. And I feel, I guess I'm approachable. <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys, we got to wrap this up. This hour goes so darn fast. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, we are talking about doing something new Year's Eve. So uh, we'll get more details on that as we go through the shows. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank everybody in the comments. And we want everybody out there to have a safe holiday this year. And I know we're all cooped up, but just think we're here for you. So we'll be here next week on Wednesday. And uh, crew, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you all next week. Thank you. Love you guys. Thank you very much for watching our video. 
please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.